Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do calculations on the current tax expense. This is part of a major component of tax expense series which is going to be looking at the current tax expense and the deferred tax expense and also how to disclose that in the notes section. So for this part, part one is the basic foundations for calculations on tax expense. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Current tax expense is the percentage of taxable income payable to the tax authority of a country for the current. This is the basic income tax expense framework. Our tax expense calculation begins at profit before tax. We arrive at profit before tax by um, calculating our sales, lessing the sales by the cost of sales, which is going to give us our gross profit. If there are any additional income such as interest income, we add that to the gross profit. If there are any other expenses such as salaries and wages, we're going to subtract that from that figure of gross profit, including the interest if any, which is going to give us the profit before tax. Now after the profit before tax, we have the exempt differences. These are differences which are either not taxable or deductible. In the case of the ones which are not taxable, this is your dividends income. It is not taxable, therefore we have to remove it from the profit before tax. And then there's the fines or donations. Those are not deductible for, for, for tax purposes. So this is going to give us the profit after exempt differences. The items which are highlighted in yellow, we're going to deal with them in part two as they, de they, they are concerned with tax that is payable in the future so that's our deferred tax so that's in part two our taxable profit figure is the one that we are going to arrive at after the exempt and the movement in temporal differences so the current tax rate at, at my country or in my country south africa is actually at 28 percent so 28 percent of whatever amount we find here is going to be our tax expense now for illustration, a company has a profit of a hundred thousand included hundred thousand included in that uh profit before tax is a dividend of one thousand and fines paid uh at two hundred rands. There are no temporal differences, assume a tax rate of twenty eight percent. So in this case our profit before tax is given at ten thousand rands. Now we are going to look at those exempt differences which I mentioned earlier. Dividends is an exempt income, therefore it is not taxable. So we have to remove it from the profit before tax figure of 10,000. The fines on the other hand are not deductible for tax purposes, so we are going to include them. This gives us a profit after exempt differences of 9,200. There are no movement in temporal differences, so therefore our final figure is a taxable profit of 9200 so from that 10000 which we got the profit before tax this is actually the amount that uh, we've determined to be the taxable portion so our current rate of tax expense is at 28% so 28% of 9200 if you hit that on your calculator will give you 2576 this is the amount that is payable to the tax authorities now like i said before let's not worry about the deferred taxes we're going to deal with this in part two since this is a series so don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe so that you don't miss out on that tutorial now guys we've come to the end of the tutorial i want to thank you for watching the tutorial if there's certain things that you don't understand please leave a, a comment on the comment section just another reminder we're going to be looking at deferred taxes and everything that has to do with deferred taxes also we're going to look at the notes to to the major components of uh, the the income tax expense so uh, until then guys uh, enjoy your day and see you later